Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I just gave some land to France for some reason, and Aragon broke their alliance with us. Hooray! I'm still confused about the Aragon thing, since they have no claims or cores on my land at all. I don't understand why they went hostile. At plus, at plus 200, both of us were at plus 200 towards each other, and he went hostile, with no claims and no cores on us. That doesn't make any sense to me. Oh well, that's my problem, I guess. Uh, let's check out Morocco real quick. He's back to 14, and <gasps> Algeria is sitting on 13. So they're both pretty potent. Uh, 1676, 1637. We do need to get in here and vassalize Morocco sooner rather than later so that we can feed them stuff in the wars. Uh, I mean, I keep talking about it, but we haven't actually done it. Hmm... Well, in the meantime, we are converting Grenada and coring Andalusia, and our ships are doing nothing. Uh, we can actually have three more trade ships. We should probably pick those up, huh? Hmm. Yeah, probably. Let me get my navy down here. My transport navy. I'm wondering if we should move our capital back down there. I don't know. We'll leave it in Ireland for now. And uh, you can leave Gren you can leave uh, Aragon. We don't need to improve relations if he doesn't want a relationship. Not much we can do about that. I still don't know why he went hostile. But, oh well. It happens, I guess. And now we have a direct border with Portugal. I should go um, claim these two provinces. That'll be nice. So next time we can get some land from them. It's too bad the culture doesn't extend across into... Um, Portuguese into Portugal. Andalusian stays right here on the south tip. It's very unfortunate, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. We also accept Maghreb and Irish. Hooray! That may change after we core Andalusia, though. That's a huge base tax here. Okay, we're back from Aragon. France is still happy. Yep, let's go make them super happy, though. I want them to like us a lot. And Brittany and Great Britain signed some type of agreement to try to get them out of my rule. Yeah, independence supported by Britain. So hopefully that won't trigger. We're going to try to keep them as happy as possible. I am a little worried about that, though. Portugal and Aragon have an alliance. Okay. Yeah. I should see if I can secure another alliance other than France. I mean, Denmark might be a good idea. Or even Austria. Do you hate Austria? You do. Okay, then no Austria. Maybe Denmark. Galicia has rivaled France because Galicia has a claim on Bergantia. I like that. Go Galicia. Go get claims on everything. I still need to offer them a freaking loan again. I don't think they want it anymore, though. They took it that one time for just 15 ducats. I don't think they'll want another one. But we'll see. Our core is coming in very nicely. I'm surprised how quickly a, a base tax 8 province will core. I guess it's because it's my culture, it's very quick. If it was a different religion and a different culture, it'd be slower. And Austria is having no trouble invading the hell out of Burgundy down here. And Saxony is invading northern Burgundy. And Friesland too. Burgundy pieced out Brunswick. Okay, but you still have other people invading you. Yeah. Who all is in this war? Austria, the Palatinate, Cologne, Brandenburg, Angebach, Friesland, and Saxony. Yeah, that's a lot of, a lot of people. Hmm. Naive relative. National spy defense goes down. Yeah, well. Anyone have a theory on Aragon? Okay, we maxed out France. Very good. 
Very good. Let's go see just for shits and giggles if Galicia wants a loan. Loan? Nope. Okay. Fair enough. Yeah, go top off the Ottomans. Make sure they still like us. They do, but keep them super happy. Britain allied Norway. So Britain went to war with Norway to take Orkney, and now that they've succeeded, now they're allies. Hmm. Interesting. I would love to just go in there and grab them. Oh, I would. I would, I would, I would. Hmm. France has troops sitting in northern Castile not doing anything. <laughs> what the hell? That's odd. Why don't they go home? Okay, now they're going home. Huh. <laughs> they didn't want to for the longest time. They were just chilling. Ooh. Savoy annexed Provence. Whoa! Really? Oh, you're not going to keep your alliance with France if you do that. No, 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 no. France has claim there. Ooh. Walking on thin ice, Savoy. Burgundy will cede French Comte to Austria and release Brabant as a sovereign state. Okay. Interesting. Maybe Haino and Brabant will be best friends. I doubt it. <laughs> I really freaking doubt it. But yeah, that's that's going to open the door for the Netherlands to spawn because all this stuff and maybe Flanders too. Yeah, Flanders. Yeah, I would not be surprised. And then the two Haino cores and Luxembourg and Liège. Yeah. Burgundy's just a sad state right now. Brabant is Catholic. Okay. Steel's trying to get Brittany independent as well. And Great Britain has surrendered to Ceylon. He agrees to give Orkney to Norway. But that's his ally. He probably doesn't care. Yeah. Doesn't even have a core on it anymore. He probably doesn't care. He might break his alliance over it, but... Oh, Britain. Invading India so hard, because he doesn't know how to sail there. Almost done in Ottoman land. Yeah, two more months. Okie dokie. And we cord Andalusia. Oh, we can westernize. Okay. Yeah, why not? I am ready for all sorts of horrible things to happen. Oh, and that unlocks a whole lot of stuff to look at. Oh, we can see the rest of Scandinavia. And Muscovy, who has not formed Russia yet, really. They have Tech 10. Oh, Crimea got Riazan. Ah, yeah, he can't do Russia if Crimea has Riazan. Well, there you go. I added a little bit to our view. Oh, and we can see the new world. There you go. Hello, Portuguese and Castilian Brazils. How nice of you. We 
almost done converting Grenada, then we'll go convert Andalusia. It will take some time, though. I think I may kick my um, manpower dude. As much as I like him, three ducats a month is a tough amount of money to, to just cough up. Uh, yeah, and we'll get rid of our guarantee of Aragon, because that's costing us a relationship. So how many points is it to tech up? I mean to um, westernize. Uh, 2,800 points for us. Okay. I'm going to revoke that, but I am going to improve relations again. I just don't want to waste um, a point on it at the mean in the meantime. But let's get relations back up. Make him like me. I still don't know why he's hostile. Does not make sense. That's one of the things that bothers me about um, attitudes. Not only do they change just extremely rapidly, it's it's too sudden. Not only is it too sudden, but it also doesn't really give you any indication of why it changes. You know. All right, so Grenada's making us making us a nice amount of money right now. And yeah, the westernization is going to take quite a long time. It's guessing seven years, but it's actually going to take longer than that. Probably more like eight or nine. Uh, gain piety at the cost of ducats. Yeah, I'd rather not lose prestige, really. I'm surprised France has not sold this, this province. Six nobles to kill in Leinster. All right, well, looks like we're going to have to ferry some troops back home. Uh. This is when having a very largely spread out area to patrol is a big problem. Okay, we've maxed relations with Aragon. He's still hostile, but whatever. Naples has declared war on Serbia. Really? Oh, they have claims over here. Oh, go Naples. Look at you, getting claims over here. Hmm. Okay. Go ahead, Naples. I guess I could build a couple dudes up here, too. Um, what are we lacking? 12 6. 822. Uh, yeah, just a couple more soldiers is fine. And another cav. Okay, max relations with Aragon. Who wants a hug? Let's see if we can get on Britain's good side for a change. Um, let's throw Burgundy into our shit list. Who hates Burgundy? Uh, the Palatinate. I know England and Austria hate Burgundy. Okay. Burgundy? Mm, yeah. There you go. That'll give us some bonus points with Britain. When will... Oh, Britain has a claim. They lost their core. Oh, nice. But they still have claims all over us here. Yeah. Because they're just nice like that.
essentially if you ever if you ever turn down one of these events basically you, you lose stability you lose prestige you lose legitimacy your advisors quit uh, you fight rebels if you ever decide not to do one of those things then you lose one year of progress towards westernizing you never want to lose a year of progress towards westernizing actually it's not a year is it it's only six months uh, divide by three. No, it's only four months. It's only four months worth. Actually, that's not that bad. Still. Who the hell wants to wait another four months to westernize? Really? Like, you think we're made of time? Ah, they're dead. But we lost 3,400 manpower just doing that. So we're gonna have to merge some units. Wow. Brutal. You know what? Probably be easier if we could move more troops around. Let's double our troop capacity. S uh, ten transports would be more helpful than five. Uh, and let's get relations up with Britain again. I don't think it's possible for us to be friends, really, but it's worth a shot. Yes, I am that naive. I'm actually trying to weigh four months worth of westernizing. How much is that worth in terms of manpower? Because I just lost 3,400 manpower. That was har really harmful. Maybe just having more transports will be enough. Then I can move everyone around quickly. Okay, max relations with Britain, although we are going to get enemy of enemy going. Why are you at war with Pegu and Lanzang? British conquest of Chittagong. Dude, if you can't win in India, what makes you think you can win in Indochina? It, you know, I don't think you're really thinking this through. <sighs> what can we do? Guarantee them. War subsidies. Let's give them zero ducat war subsidies. There you go, Britain. You're the best. And Aragon, you're still hostile. I don't know why, but you are. You're a jerk. You know what? Go back to Denmark. I think they'd be a good ally against Britain if we ever need it. They don't have anyone interesting as an enemy, though. Maybe Bohemia? I don't know. Extra revolt risk in Dierba. That's fine. It's distant overseas. I don't really care about the negative 50% tax. Okay, let's get you guys down to Andalusia. And how long is this going to take to convert? Uh, another two years. Not bad. Hmm. Gain 800 manpower. Wow. I've never seen excellent year give less than 1,000 manpower, but we managed it somehow. Oh, rebels up here in Vizcaya. Probably just peasant rebels. But yeah... Castile was not advanced enough for us to westernize off, but Portugal is. So that's nice that we got this Andalusia province. Ooh, big war. Austria versus... Hmm. Hungary. 
Hungary declared war on Austria. What for? Conquest of Graz. Are you shitting me, Hungary? You are allied with France, though, so maybe he's going to get France to help. Oh, that would be a big war. Yep, France is helping. That means one thing to me. That means Castile might declare war on me. Because France is busy. Savoy joined against France. Oh god, Savoy. No, no, no. Savoy joined with France. Yeah. Okay, Savoy and France are on the same side. Hungary, France, Foix, and Savoy. Okay. Are you going to annex Foix? No, he's not annexing Foix. This, this is the same thing I saw in the, in the last uh, LP. France just doesn't annex his vassals sometimes. Weird. Progress is very steady. Wow. And we've only had two resisting events so far. We're one-third of the way through. Very cool. Poland and next Lithuania. So no Commonwealth. You just super form super Poland. Hmm. Oh, gain stability. Thank you so much, excellent minister. Wow. Huh. Well, that's nice. That actually brought my revolt risk to zero and across the entire country. What does it cost to tech up anyway? 533. So our neighbor bonus is only 15. Huh. I'm surprised our neighbor bonus isn't 25, but I guess we've kept we've kept our tech pretty good compared to our neighbors. That's why it's not such a a big bonus. Yeah. Yeah, only 10% on uh, admin tech. Wow. All right, what can we see now? Okay. Oh, the rest of Asia. Oh, whoa, there you go. There's the rest of Asia. Look at Manchu. Oh, wow. If they can get to Beijing, they can form the Qing Dynasty. Ooh. And Muscovy's colonizing, but uh, they can't do Russia without Smolensk or Ryazan. Oh, that's what they're doing. They're going for Smolen Smolensk right now. Is that what the war is for? No, it's the Saxon conquest of Lüneburg. Ha, ha, ha. The Saxon conquest of Lüneburg has brought Muscovy and Poland at war with each other. Let's use in that war. Saxony versus France, Hungary, Bohemia, Savoy, and Muscovy. And Poland, well, it's a smaller war, yeah. Yeah, it's a very small war. So, Poland, you're going to lose. Sorry. Sorry, Poland. We have a free diplomat not doing anything. Hmm. Uh, let's go top off France. Why not? Austria has a PU over the Palatinate. Uh-oh, rebels in Galicia again. Protestant zealots. Why are Protestant zealots sieging a Protestant province in a Protestant nation? Shouldn't they go to a Catholic nation? It's a Protestant province in a Protestant nation, and there are Protestant zealots sieging it. That doesn't make any sense. But there they are. Well, we're pretty much at perfect relations with Brittany, so why don't we leave them alone? Uh, let's go back to... Denmark, we already did. Oh, the Ottomans are at war. Interesting. Crimean conquest of Karakoyla. Oh, they can't call us in because they're not the war leader. Right. 
Let's go back to uh, Algeria. Aragon has a regent. Okay. Yeah, why is France not selling this province? Oh, they did core it. I thought you guys said they couldn't core it. They did. How can they even core that? It's completely locked. Has no way that they can access it in any means, but they somehow cored it. What the hell, France? How did you core that? That's amazing. That doesn't make any sense. And you know what? We do need to end this episode here. So thank you guys for joining me. I have been Shen. France has miraculously cored Bragantia. And I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.